Miss Monkey 1000 and today I have a small Timu haul. Nothing like the last one. I think it ended up being like an hour and 30 minutes or something. Sorry everyone. But that was a big Timu haul. So um, I have a small one here and we're going to open it up. So this video is not going to be very long but I thought I'd bring you along. Um, I'm sorry my mom's not with me. She's in the hospital as I explained. So we're going to open up this one and I have another one that's coming. Um, hopefully she'll be home by the time that one gets here and then we maybe if she feels good enough I'll do the do the video with her. But um, if she doesn't I'm not going to push her. So um, anyways make sure you watch my update for my mom so you guys you know understand what's going on. Um, yeah so let's get into this and uh, I'm ready to open it up. Okay, I'm going to bring you down a little bit. I think I think that's about as far as it's going to go. Uh, hopefully you can see me. There we go. So, what did I get? You know, I only got a couple of things this time. There was one thing that was on sale that I really wanted to make sure I got it. And let me see here. I got my cell phone, so let me open it up so you guys I can tell you the prices that I paid for for these item and items items oh my god um, so you can see what we got here it takes a few minutes to open up so okay let's see I got this yesterday but because of the commotion I just couldn't open up I didn't I, I was too tired I was like, nope, I'm done for the day. So, okay, so, all right, let's see what we got here first. Okay, we'll do these ones first. Everybody's been bragging about the shoes on Timu, so I wanted to check them out. And I want to see what they are. Now, I didn't get no running shoes or anything like that. I got a pair of flip-flops. I love flip-flops. I like to wear them, but I like them comfortable. I don't like hard, solid ones. And I have used to buy them at Walmart. Walmart used to have some really nice ones, you know. And, you know, you pay a good, good price for them, you know. They're not cheap, but they're not real sky-high either. And um, lately, in the last few years, they've been doing nothing but um, cheap cheap flip-flops and they're hard and solid and I, I don't like hard ones I like some cushion in them so I haven't been buying them so I bought a pair uh, I would say about a year ago or something and I like those flip-flops but they have a white band on them and we have sand and I wear them for everything so they gotten dirty they got nasty looking so I thought well let me try a pair of their flip-flops and see what they're like so here they are I think they're going to be a little bit too hard for me. <coughs> Excuse me. They look cute, though. They really look cute. And they got a nice softness here. It's like a heel, though. It's like it goes up like a heel. So that might be good. I don't like a big heel on a flip-flop, only because my daughter had a pair of them, and I used them once, and I twisted my ankle real bad and ended up on crutches. So I'm like, nope, no heels on my flip-flops. So I try to keep them flat. <laughs> I'm not good with heels anymore. I used to be. When I was in Canada, I used to wear them all the time. So, um, you know, I used to wear some heels, so, yeah. So, anyways, here they are. I will try them on, um, let me see. I have to turn this off, and I'll try them on, and you can see them. It's kind of dark in here. So, I will, I will show you. Okay, guys, I hope you can see them. Um, they're more comfortable than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be really, um you know uh, there's Bruno <laughs> he's with me Shea Bear's sleeping so I thought I'd do my videos um, I'm trying to hold my monitor so you can see I had to plug it in because it had died so hopefully you guys can see that um, on my feet so 
They're very comfortable. I'm surprised because when I touched them, they felt very hard. Oh, these are going to be nice. Oh, and they're so soft in between, you know, the toe area. Because I used to get the toe area and it used to hurt me. But these are nice. Oh, I like these. So, hopefully they last me a while. Oh, I am impressed. Yeah. So, let me show you my other ones. Hold on. I will show you my other ones I've been wearing. And, yeah, you know, here they are. And they're old. They're well-worn. I've taken them boating and fishing and all kinds of stuff. So, hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. So, they're dirty and they're nasty. Sorry. But, um... You know, so I need some new ones, and I have dresses, and I like to have something halfway decent that goes with all my sundresses. So, I really like these. Wow, very comfy. So, yeah. So, let me put you back and get rid of these nasty shoes, and I'll show you what else I got. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you know how much they are. They were $6.69 when I bought them. I bought a size 9 and a half, and I'm usually a 9, um, but I bought it a little bit bigger. And I figured if flip-flop was a little bit too big, it ain't going to matter with flip-flop, really. I mean, unless it's a couple of sizes. Um, a lot of people on here, they said... Um, these ones come on black only and they have a size guide on here so I would go by the size guide and read it and make sure you do that um, but most people that have had shoes they said that um, they're true to size so a lot of these shoes so I was really kind of surprised so I went with a nine and a half just in case because I really you know they're coming far away and I just didn't have to send them back and especially if I like them. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, they're cool. And I'm glad I got a nine and a half because I think the nines would be a tad too small. I think they would have been a tad too small. So, um, yeah. So I wanted you today to know that. And let me see what else I got in this lovely bag of mine. And we'll go on. Now, let's see. Okay, so I got my mother a bird feeder. She likes to hear all the birds, and I have a lot of birds here. Really a lot. It's amazing. I mean, we lived in other places, and I have never heard the birds like I do here. I have some woods, but I have a lot of houses around me, too, you know. But we have a lot of lakes around here. You know, I'm five minutes from the Withlacoochee River, and not even that, really. And um, then we have... A lot of lakes that I go to with the boat that you have seen in our videos so we got a lot of birds here we got owls I have owls in my backyard all the time it's amazing anyway so she likes to hear the birds in the morning she hears them chirping and stuff so I thought she, her bed is beside the window and I thought well I get her a bird feeder so she can see the birds coming up and eating out of the bird feeder this bird feeder it is. Let me show you the price of it. It was five forty-seven. That's what I paid for. And what this bird feeder does, it goes to the window. So you you attach it to the window. So hopefully it'll stick pretty good. And um, it's it's cute. I mean, you know, it's clear plastic. It's a bird food feeder. So I want to get this ready and um, put it up in her windows. So when she gets home, she will be able to look at the birds eating out of it. Um, you know, so yeah, they give you three of these lovely little suction cups. And um, of course, you, you don't get no uh, directions with it. No, no directions, nothing. But that's okay. We'll figure this out. Or if I can't, we'll get Shea Bear to do it. He can do it. So, um, 
Oh, there we go. So you just kind of put them in there and then put it up where the little thing is up there. And they give you three of them. Now I'm not going to show you it in the window um, because it's dark out. And But maybe afterwards, um, once I get it on the window, you know, you put it outside. I hope you know that. I don't think the birds are going to come in my house. No, thank you. I like the birds. That was my first word as a as a baby was bird. It wasn't mom or dad or anything else. No dog. No, I said bird. But I like to see birds. I like birds. I like to watch birds, but I don't like to touch birds. So why I don't know, but I just don't like the feeling of them coming close to me. So, anyways, I'm trying to put these in here. I got two out of three in here, I think. So you kind of just got to play with it and get them these suction cups kind of in here. And probably Shea Bear came along. He probably do it in like two seconds. It takes me hours. He did that. He did that with my um, bell when I first moved here. The bell was messed up, and it sounded really bad. It sounded like somebody was dying it sounded so bad so i wanted my bell fixed it bothered me you know and so i was trying to fix it myself and i did a lot of youtube stuff trying to figure it out and i could never never get it you know i was like what's wrong you know i went and did everything they told me to do on youtube but you know they don't tell you everything on youtube some of these people and um, they will, you have to watch more than one, and sometimes you can get it. But, um, you know, they're always missing one little problem or something, or they fix it and they say, Oh, I forgot to turn the video on, sorry. You know, and they're like, Oh my God, what if I have the same problem or something, you know? So, anyways, yeah, I can't get this in. I'm going to have to get Shaver to put these in for me for whatever reason. It's just not working for me. So, anyways, this is the bird feeder. And you go and put your bird food in there, and then they can sit on the side, and they'll eat. Isn't that cute? And I figure if I if it doesn't, I'll see how well it works. Because I wanted to put one in the kitchen window, because I can't really see out of there. I see the when I'm doing my dishes, all I see is that stupid air conditioner. One day, which I hope to change, and then I can see the sky and the trees a little bit. But I'd like to put something like this in that window there, so then. When I'm doing dishes, maybe I might see birds coming. And, but I want to see how well this is, works in her window. So we'll put it in her window, and I'll, I'll show you one day um, once I get it all set up and see, see how well it works and stuff. Hopefully it'll stick. I'll let you know if it sticks real good. Um, because these are suction cups, and, you know, if you don't have the good hearty suction cups for this kind of stuff, it'll fall off. So, but we'll, we'll get it in her window, and she'll like that, so when she gets home. So, yeah. Okay, so on to the next thing. And this is my last one. I only had three this time. Um, so... This is something for outside. Ooh, I, I like this. This is a Bright Up Your Outdoor Spaces. And what it is, it's a little lamp. A, a little lamp. It's a light. And um, kind of a light. And I paid eight, $10.88 for this. It's so cute. I don't know where I want to put it yet. I, I think I might put it out by my rose out there. So then... It can go in. See, this is the spout. Your little thing here. It's a solar. And you can... Oh, my. Oh, it gives you a little hook thing. I have a, a couple of hooks. I was going to put it on. I didn't know it gave you... Oh, well, it's not real tall. I have one that's probably taller than this. Oh, neat. I wonder if this goes in here. Yeah. And I'm going to get rid of the box. Nothing else in there. So we'll get rid of it. So we have some room. And, uh, yeah, this is cool. It's a, give you a hook. And you just put it together. It 
this is neat. Ah, it's so cool. Yeah, it might be taller than I think. I never know. So, I might make sure it's really good and tight so it's not going to fall off there. And then you have the bottom one which has the hook in it. So I just put that on there. I've been wanting this. I've been eyeing it for a little bit on and off and I've been I had it in my basket. Then they sold out. I lost it out of my basket. So then I was like, well, I'm just going to get the stuff I did with the big haul. So I had it and I was tired of waiting. <laughs> so I bought it. And uh yeah. Makes my life interesting being able to do this at the moment. Um yeah, so you want know, to make sure everything's good and tight, I think. Yeah. And you're gonna put it down and there's your hook. Oh, that's not bad size. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. And what you do with this little do that. It's a solar thing, so uh, does this move? No, it doesn't. This does this piece does not move. So then you have your solar panel here and you can turn it on. And we'll undo these here. I'll show you the picture. This is this is the way it's supposed to be, right there. So, um, yeah, so it's off and on here. Uh, it's kind of weird switch. It feels rubbery. So when you're trying to to play with it, it. Um, you know, so I'm trying to untangle this because you know how that goes with new stuff. I got it all tangled up. And I'm going to put it under the light here for a few minutes and let the light get to it, hopefully enough where I can maybe take it outside and it'll light up for me so I can show you. And I think you're supposed to take a strand and just kind of uh, untangle them and kind of make them the way you want. So, yeah, I think this is cute. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Super cute. There you go. So, I said it. I know. My mom today, she said one of the nurses came in and she said that he said super cute and I said you're kidding me you must be watching videos on Timu <laughs> stuff that's too funny it's super cute yeah I don't know how super it is but it's cute so anyways um, I'm gonna get this untangled and I'm gonna let it charge up a little bit underneath the light because it's dark outside <laughs> and um, once it lights up a little bit, I'll take you outside so you guys can see it. So I will be back because I'm going Okay guys, so we're outside. I have to redo this part because you couldn't really see it. I, I don't know, I had the camera up too high and you couldn't see the light. So there it is. I don't know if I'm going to keep it here yet. I'll probably move it up by the big tree over there and um, so it looks good. It really is. It's really cute. Really, really cute. So, yeah. So, you get a couple of these if you want. You know, that would really, really look cute. You know. I like it. I like it a lot. So, there you go. Okay, guys. That's it for my um, Timu haul this time. It's short. But I really like my little light. I probably will put it over by my water fountain probably tomorrow and in the daylight and see what it looks like. The only thing about putting it up by the tree there, I probably won't be able to enjoy it because I won't see it. But people driving will and it'll look really cute. Or I can leave it just in my garden right here. And even with my light on, because I, I like to leave a light on, um, that light that I have. It used to have a, a sensor in it, and I washed down the house. Um, and when I when I kind of did that, it the uh, sensor stopped working. So now I gotta flip the switch. And I like that little lantern kind of look. And I had I haven't had it. Well, I've had it seven years now, 
maybe even eight. So time flies, I tell you. Unbelievable. So, um, yeah, so maybe I'll be due for a new one and I'll get a one with the sensor in it because I really like that when it came on itself and that and I didn't have to worry about turning it on and off. But I didn't want to waste my money and go out and buy another one because the sensor wasn't working at it right. So, anyways, it seemed to work over there by the garden like, and I put it over there for right now. Um, yeah. So I like that a lot. I like my flip-flops. They feel really good. I'm so impressed with them. Hopefully they last a long time and they won't pull apart. I mean, that's the whole thing with flip-flops. They fall apart, you know, the, especially when you have the one with the toe in the middle, you know, they always seem to come out after a while, but hopefully, and I wear the heck out of my flip-flops now. So I'm a, I'm a good candidate for testing flip-flops. So if I'm not in my flip-flops, then I'm in my bare feet. The only time I wear running shoes is if I have to go, um, we go camping and we're going out in the woods, then of course um, I have my boots for that. And I have um, my running shoes I used use that I bought at Walmart and uh, I use them for walking when I was walking. So. Um, I want to get back into that, but the problem is with those shoes, they hurt my feet, and they didn't give me no support around my ankle, and my ankle was starting to hurt, so I'd like to get me some new running shoes, and maybe I might try a pair of Timu running shoes since everybody's been bragging about how good they are. So if anybody's got Timu running shoes and um, walk in them or run in them, let me know how well they work because um, I need some support around my ankle. Um, it seems to be weak for whatever reason. I probably, when I twisted my ankle on my daughter's um, flip-flops once. So I've always had a weak ankle since then. So, um, yeah. But, um, you know, most of the time I don't, ha I don't feel it unless I go, like, downstairs. I'm, pff, we're in Florida. We don't have many stairs. And so I don't have to worry about that too much. Um, you know. So, um, yeah. So I hope you like the video. I'll let you know about the bird thing. Hopefully, Shaver can get these little doodads in here. I'll probably get them in there. It's just that you got to play with it. And then I'll put it in her window. I'll try to maybe put it in her window tomorrow before I go back to the hospital. And um, that way it'll be ready. One of the nurses said today that after she has the pacemaker in, they may send her home right away. So I got to make sure her room's ready. Um, but I was a little concerned about that because I would like her to stay at least one night to make sure the pacemaker doing what it needs to do, you know. Don't need any incidences when she gets home. So, anyways, that's it for now, y'all. I hope you enjoyed my team haul. Um, I do have another one coming. And I will try to save it for when she gets home. She should be home before it gets here. And, uh, yeah, there's a couple of things on that one. But I didn't buy a bunch of stuff. I did get credited. That was really good. I got $15 back on credit because the prices changed on my, my last Timo haul. So, yeah, check your, check your thing out and make sure, you know, you're using that price um, change because that can save you some money. Now, you don't get your money back, but they credit it to you, so you can buy more stuff, which is fun. <laughs> so, that's what I did, buy more stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm having fun with this, and, uh, yeah, so the more I can save, the more I get to buy. So, yeah. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. And, and, I, and I'm using some of this stuff that's really good. I mean, I'm not buying stuff that I'm not going to use, you know. Um, I will I'll buy stuff that I need and want to, you know. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, Monkey says she's out for now. I hope you have a great evening. And this is going to get up late, so probably everybody will be in bed um, by the time I get this up. I didn't sleep good last night, so I probably will stay up a little bit later, so maybe I can get some sleep. Um, you know, I'm worried about my mother, so, you know, she's very close to me, and, uh, you know, I'm the only child, so it makes it really hard. So, anyways, um, yep, so until the next one, y'all, and 
It'll be soon. Bye, y'all. Take care. Monkey says she's out.